Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to be looking at a new miniature set about to launch on Kickstarter. I think at the time of this video coming out, it will have already launched. I will put a link in the description below so you guys can go and check out this Kickstarter and have a look what you can get for your money. I don't actually know how much this is going to cost. I've not seen the prices, so you'll get to find that out on the Kickstarter and you'll see exactly what you'll get. I don't know if I've got a prototype in here or the full set or anything like that. This Kickstarter is for a set called The Free Pigs and other denizens of Dunmer, Dunmeri, Dunmer, Dun. I don't know how you pronounce the place it's from. I don't know if that's a real place or it's fictional. So it's, it's just some miniatures, some piggies from uh, from a place I can't pronounce. And they're inside this box. It's by Monkstone Miniatures. And as I said, the Kickstarter will be launching imminently and probably already. So check out that link. Guys, let's just have a look what we get. Let's pop over this box. I don't, again, could be a prototype box, could be the real box you get. It's fine. I know it's just going to have some miniatures in here. So a cardboard box that I'm almost definitely going to throw away. It's great. Again, maybe this is prototype packaging. Really doesn't matter. It's a set of miniatures. I'm going to bin all of this. First of all, I noticed you were presented with some cards. The number, oh, these are, these are, these are thick cardstock. So I don't think they're a prototype. That feels feels immense so no expense spared on the thick I can't even bend that thickness of the card and there's so many so many miniatures I get that I always say I need some cards with them I need some artwork here we go cards and artwork oh that's good I knew they were named and I'm glad it says it on the cards because I was there's was no way I was remembering these names or knowing how to pronounce that so here are the namesakes the three pigs of the set looking cool in the artwork oh on the back you're presented with some information. What's this from? What's that mean? First cast. Oh, first casting. These are the first casts of this miniature. So these are a little card about them, not necessarily to play in a game. I thought I thought this was a spell. Their first casting spell. Uh, it does tell you a bit about them. Uh, oh, they've got a little bio here as well. Oh, I love that it's signed. I mean, these are by Jack Good. Hope I didn't just forget his name or butcher it. <laughs> uh, he needs to work on his signature. That looks like a, <laughs> a toddler with no arms has done that. I am. I shouldn't talk. I, I also have the worst handwriting in the world. But yeah, really like that they're signed. That looks awesome. Uh, yeah, really thick cards. Nice artwork. Something you can work with if you if you like me and I play board games. But now I can add custom characters in incorporating this artwork in those some way shape or form no no indication on what colors to paint them or anything which you guys know i like reference material i'm going to paint them all black and white i'm gonna to have to use my imagination painting them anyway guys there's some cards with it let's have a look at the miniatures themselves in here somewhere oh so we've got we've got four in this set so that's the three piggies plus one additional fellow let me just get oh there's a base in here too that's it one base Guys, there's four miniatures. Where's the other bases? No doubt in the real Kickstarter, you probably get a base for each miniature. Where should we begin? Let's have a look at one of the piggy. No, look at the piggies last. Let's get this guy out of the way because he's so deeny tiny. We can have a quick look. I will, I'm going to go away and build them all and I'll give them a spin at the end. So, so don't worry, you'll be able to see them a little bit better. But let's just get some first impressions and let me have a look at them too. So this is, this was the, this is Maggot, who's a little thief. Oh, he looks great, doesn't it? So these are resin cast miniatures. Oh, the detail, it's so clean and crisp. Need, does that need a little bit of tidying up? Oh, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, which I could probably pull off with my hand, yeah. So just a teeny, tiny bit to fix. A little bit at the bottom of his bag. Feet won't matter, they're glued down. I can't see any mold lines. It's just a teeny tiny bit of resin excess to tidy. That's not a mold line. That's his boot, I think. Oh, a little, little tiny mold line there, but that's a beautiful looking miniature, isn't it? I've seen this one painted, so I'll make sure I show you that. I'd, I'd love to go away and paint one, but as I said, Kickstarter launches tomorrow, so I'll try and get this video out ASAP. He's great. He looks great. I'm trying to find something wrong with him. I think he's a really interesting looking character. He's got his little, oh, that needs a bit of tidying up. So a little bit of work there, but it's, easy tidying up. It's not scraping off a mold line. It's just getting rid of a bit of fluff that I could pull off with my hand. So a little crafts knife. Oh, that's a bit of excess there to snap off, but I'll sort that off camera. Yeah. And then a little bit of work. Oh, his daggers. Oh, he has his dagger upside down. Just holding it. Yeah. I'll go and sort that out, guys. You can see the finished miniature in the spin at the end, but he's, he's looking great. Let's have a look at a piggy. Which one's this? Let's have them all out so I can tell. Uh, I'm not going to be able to tell because they all just look like pigs. 
Wow, that's racist. Here we go. So these are really big, chunky, fat miniatures. These are 28 millimeter. I should mention that. That's fairly relevant. And but he's huge, isn't he? 28 mil in scale, but he's a big, fat pig. He's not a skinny little pig. So you get. He's got his weaponry again. I'm going to build this up off camera so we can actually have a really good look. But the quality, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to make mostly quick assessments off the little one. But it, they're fairly clean to begin with, looking beautiful. Really nice, simple detail, I'd say. It's not like zombie side where it's a teeny tiny miniature with a billion pieces of detail, which is just really, really difficult to paint up. This looks more like GW, where it's a big, chunky miniature with really clear, crisp, details which should be really enjoyable and relatively easy to paint up he's got a big axe on this one i notice you get two heads so this one's got a ma mask so he's like an executioner there isn't he or i guess you get a choice that's cool why do you get a choice mask free and maybe i could even magnetize it so depending what you're playing he can put on his mask and take it off with magnetized heads. Should I do that? Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. So that's, I don't know which one that is. It must be him. It's Paul Groff. He's looking great. Let's, oh, let's keep them all together. I'm going to mix these up if I'm not careful. And we're going to have some mo monstrous pig with three heads and infinite weaponry. So here's another one. It's the next one. I can't tell which they are. Must be, ah, it's Gruntlack. Look at this. Whoa, look at that morning star. Two-handed. What a weapon. Oh, that's going to look awesome. Wow, that's... These are... Not only are these like nicely cast, but they're fairly unique, aren't they, to say I just said all pigs look the same. The, the weaponry and the armor is certainly, between these two, enough difference that you will learn to tell them. Oh, he's got little sticky up ears. He looks so much more excitable. Again, choice of two heads with this one. It's basically helmet on, helmet off. It's quite interesting. I wonder why. I wonder if there's a reason to that. But I definitely like his helmet. Look at that. It's a bit steampunky, isn't it? And then this one's got a few extra cloth and armor pieces. So you have got some building to do, but it's it's not much, is it? And it's fairly obvious where all these go. These aren't teeny tiny pieces to put together and guess where they're going to have to go. It's pretty obvious which arms which. Right, left hand, pick a head and a weapon. So... Gruntlack's looking awesome as well. And one last one. I mean, you guys, if you're backing this, make sure you leave a comment. Where's the wolf? We need a wolfy, right? Where's the watch it, paint it wolf? That's what I, I instantly can tell I want to see. Why is there a little maggot man? Don't care. I need a wolf. Three pigs and a wolf and then a red riding hood. But watch it, paint it wolf. Let him know in the comments. So look at this one. Another, another beautiful piggy. This one's now they're all looking the same. Let's have a look at his helmet. A totally different helmet though, isn't it? Look at that. He's got his little, uh, what do you call them? It's like old, <laughs> it's like an old fighter. Uh, what are they like? Skull cap kind of thing? Looking cool though. And what weapons he's got? How does he stand out? Oh, look, he's got a lantern. This one's got a lantern. And, oh, he's got a little teeny tiny mace. Oh, look at that. So what's the, the other guy's weapon's so much bigger. This guy's... I wonder if it even says which one is he. He's Gorgrot. Nope, don't see anything interesting. I wondered if he was a scout or something like that with his little lantern looking ahead. Guys, that is everything that I've got here. And I think I don't know exactly what you get in the, or what uh, pledges are going to be available on the Kickstarter. So do check that out and see if anything, if you get more or what else with stretch goals, all the things that come with Kickstarter. Right, I've spent more time with the pickies. I've got to know them. I've taken them out for a nice meal and I've rolled around in the hay with them. I've built them up now and I've got a bit better understanding, a bit more of a conclusion slash review for this video. And I thought I'd include that and let you know a bit about my findings. The first thing I should state is the miniatures are really, really nice. Um, and they grew on me more and more as I handled them. Really love the detail, that GW style big bold pieces of armor and weaponry that is, it's very clear which piece is which and it's going to make for a very very fun miniature to paint that's the next thing i noticed and this happens with a lot of miniatures not all miniatures but sometimes when i handle them i've got that burning urge to go and paint them i haven't actually got time to go and do it right now i'm not made of time but that feeling's there that i know i want to paint that i'm probably going to have to paint one of these tonight probably just using contrast while holding the baby but that's how much i've, I've got to get some paint on these and see what it looks like i'm really really excited to do so now as i went through the building process it is a bit of a story of the three piggies 
<laughs> one's made of straw, one's made of sticks, and one's made of bricks. And by that, I mean the amount of work was harder and harder as I moved through the miniatures. They've all got mold lines down the left and the right. One of them is wearing a lot more armor. It significantly hides those mold lines. It's barely any work whatsoever. The next one's got some armor, a little bit of mold line work. The last one. The last one's got a lot of mold line work. That isn't particularly difficult. It took a couple of minutes even for the hardest one. The the biggest gripe for me on these miniatures are, and it's not all of them, one of them's perfect, one of them's medium, and this one in particular is, is the worst for gaps. It's just got significantly noticeable gaps. And I'm not the best miniature builder in the world, so some of that is on me, but I tried, and I tried quite hard to fix it, and I just couldn't, so I've just come to terms with, I'm gonna need a bit of green stuff to fix some of the mold lines on that. But as I mentioned, one of them's made of, well, whichever way around you want it, bricks or straw, but they're not all bad. This one completely hides all of those lines as well as being incredibly easy to fix the mold lines on. So on average, I'd say about five to 10 minutes per miniature on tidying it up, including the time to go and fix it with green stuff there on the ones I've not done yet. I'll do that later on as I come to paint them. Another little gripe for me is that it didn't come with any bases. I'm a YouTuber that focuses on painting miniatures and I'm a hobbyist that focuses on painting miniatures but I don't I don't have that many spare bases not all your bases belong to me so it would be nice hopefully in the kickstart if they just chuck them in a lot of people that won't matter but to me it did so yeah overall I'm super psyched to to go away and paint these which is what I want from miniatures I think the set's beautiful so I'll be interesting and following along with the kickstart I would love to see I should mention the little maggot guy he, he's great. He's beautifully sculpted. He looks fantastic. To me, I don't know why he's in this set. He doesn't fit with those three piggies. What I want is a Watch It Painted Wolf and a little Red Riding Hood. And I think this set would be amazing. And I'd, 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 the theme would be there for me. And I'd be including that. So I'm going to follow along with the Kickstart myself and hope there's a Watch It Painted Wolf, a little Red Riding Hood as stretch goals. Maybe if anybody's interested, let us know in the comments below. Let me know on the Kickstarter. I'll be following along. If anybody would like to see painting tutorials on this, maybe we can have it as a, a stretch goal, something like that, if enough people care for that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, hopefully that's enough information for you to go and check this out if you're interested. And any questions, do just fire them below and I'll be happy to help if I can. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Things like that. Let's start this again because I talk too much about nothing. Beautiful to build and quick and easy and rambling again. So on and so forth. Oh, it's so hard to say words. <laughs>